they're not just going to let anyone out on the course. You've got to be well trained, you've got to be disciplined, you've got to behave exactly as you should to be a firefighter. So it just makes me believe that everyone in the community is a lot safer knowing how strictly trained people have to be going through this course. I think you have to have an open mind straight away to be a firefighter. Um, you have to be a team player, a team member, yeah, and you can interact well with people because it's not just about firefighting, it's also about the education of the, of the public as well as going into and speaking to people that own companies, uh, businesses and uh, passing the message of fire safety and prevention. Uh, so the first things that they actually learn are firecraft. Firecraft is a, uh, a look at obviously pitching ladders, using hose, um, tying knots and using them, those as a combination uh, to work out maybe if there's a house fire, obviously being able to um, get to the early stages of uh, an incident and be able to be an effective member of a team, a crew and have situational awareness to be able to recognise dangers and be able to overcome them. Uh, sec second part of this is we're moving into the next stage. Half of the syndicate, well, we, we split them into two syndicates. Half the syndicate, or one of the syndicates, goes and does breathing apparatus. They're not used to being uh, in a situation that we put them in, which is a, a smoky, hot atmosphere. And you have to remember that wearing breathing apparatus takes away some of your senses. So the only senses we've actually got to work with are uh, hearing and also touch. So at the end of the day, you have to react to what you t uh, touch and you hear. So there's a lot of picturing things in your mind to be able to achieve uh, the end goal. I came in expecting a challenge, but it's been a lot harder than I thought. I've, I've enjoyed it, everyone's enjoyed it, they're all pushing each other through, but it is a lot more than sort of you can expect. It's hard to prepare yourself, so you've just got to come in as prepared as you can, try and go beyond whatever you think the challenge is going to be, and just expect it to be a little bit harder. The other uh, syndicate is now uh, doing RTC, but prior to doing RTC, which is road traffic collision, they do something called IEC, which is trauma-based uh, care for casualties at an incident. And I'm into my second week now of um, RTC, which sort of tones down a bit physically. Mentally, you've still got to be switched on, so I think you'll find that you could be doing a little bit to keep your fitness up yourself at home. For me, it's finding the balance. It is, at, at the moment, finding the time to balance everything and fit everything in physical activity at the moment and the mental revision. There's lots of revision to be done and I think if you don't do it you will fall behind. When they leave here they've actually completed something called phase one training which is means that they are safe to operate the equipment and be safe as, as well as they can be uh, on a, an appliance. They then from leaving here they go into their phase two training which then works them up to being a competent firefighter. So they're safe to leave, but they are then working to be competent after that. Once, once I'm on station, I'm looking forward mainly to just be having a fulfilling role in the community, being able to help people and, and save people's lives ultimately. <laughs>